the master node always hosts the API server. And that API server is responsible to host your service account as well. One of the primary authentication methods is a service account that is hosted and managed on the Kubernetes API server. The credentials for the service account is also stored on the API server in Kubernetes secrets. This will then allow the service accounts to be used by the pods and also to communicate back and forth with the API server. Most of the API requests provide an authentication token for the service account or a normal user account. So there are two methods you can authenticate yourself against the Kubernetes containers. One is using the service account or using a regular normal account. When I say normal account, it's nothing but a traditional way of accessing your applications or services. This could be a developer accessing the application or a human administrator accessing the services and processes. The identity management solution is provided by Azure Active Directory. This is because Kubernetes itself does not host your regular accounts or passwords. So these credentials are stored and managed by Azure Active Directory, whereas the service account is stored and managed by the Kubernetes API server hosted on the cluster master.